so it's pretty rare that that happens. It's generally rare. Black bears are not, um, you know, they're not man eaters. This animal in particular, we're highly confident, was not was not waiting to attack the victim. Um, our sense is that she walked into sort of this perfect storm of events, where she was in the wrong place at a time when that when that um, sow had her cubs nearby, and we had two dogs on scene: the victim's dog as well as the, um, the daughter and son-in-law's home that she was visiting, their dog was out. So we suspect those dogs sort of set the alert level for that, for the bear that ultimately attacked her. And then her presence, um, like it or not, we still remain in the minds of a bear. We're still, the, we're still predators to bears. And ultimately, um, I, I suspect her presence with her dog just elevated it to the point where that bear said, I'm gonna protect myself. So this was more of a defensive attack than it was anything that um, was proactive on the part of the animal. And um, I guess talk about the decision when you found the bear to, um, to I guess, put the bear down. Um, Good question. So, um, you know, at the, we, have a, we have a response plan that guides us and has for the last uh, 20 years in terms of how we respond to different bear incidents and wildlife in general. We've never had to activate uh, a human attack, the, the human attack element of that bear response plan. But it, from the beginning, and is consistent with almost every other jurisdiction in North America that has black bears, when we can um, positively identify a bear that has attacked a person, the only, or the only responsible decision is to remove that bear from the landscape. So once we knew that we had a bear that the, that the, um, the victim's family had identified for us as you know, the sow with the radio collar, um, she also had a broken leg from a prior injury that made the, the bear that attacked her um, hobble a bit. So she was readily identifiable. She, she was right on site when we arrived in terms of the signal we were getting. So we knew that was the bear. We have the highest confidence that the bear we euthanized was the bear that attacked this woman. And um, you know, for us, we, we don't like killing wildlife, but at the end of the day, I guess uh, two things. I, I want the name of the homeowners association that would vote to have us move this bear to their neighborhood. And I'd rather be second guessed about euthanizing that bear than leaving it on the landscape and having to explain to the next victim's family why we chose otherwise. And. Uh... They said that I, I, I was. I read that the uh, the cubs are old enough that they can take care of themselves. Right? They absolutely are. So we handled one of the cubs physically. We weighed it. We ran some biological checks on it, and we ear tagged it. That bear was about 70 pounds. Um, and then we had eyes on uh, two separate times the cubs that were nearby her at one point, and they were probably bigger than that uh, individual male that we tagged. They're, they're absolutely capable of uh, surviving on their own at this point. We have no doubt they will. And then I guess just the kind of safety precautions for homeowners. Sure. So one of the reasons we believe that we've never had an attack in Maryland is um, one we have bears are relatively new in terms of the, the, the bear population in Maryland has been uh, sustainably restored to the levels they are now because of the great work that's occurred over the past uh, 50 years. Marylanders are in general. Marylanders in general are sort of new to having bears around, but they have, by and large, embraced those sort of basic principles that if you avoid creating conflict with bears, then you won't be in conflict with bears. And those are really basic. Bears are opportunistic, so if you leave bird feeders out, and you have bears eating the bird feed, you're setting yourself up for a problem. If you leave your grill out and you have a bear that's getting into your grill you're going to set up, you're setting yourself up for a problem. And if you leave your trash out and you have bears that come to it, um, you're going to have a problem. So generally, Marylanders have really done a good job with that. This community appears to have embraced all those principles. Um, we don't have any evidence that anybody was overtly sort of setting this bear up for conflict in the, in the neighbors we talked to there. Um, again, we think this was more of a you know, wrong place at the wrong time moment. All right. Uh, so if there's anything else I, uh, I guess I want to add? Um, you have the, you, yeah, I think I talked to Tony. You have the, you have the 911 recording, right? I believe so, yeah. 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 I mean, that gives you a sense of what it was like for the victim. Um, no, I think that's it. Okay. Very good.